All right, let's read a story. It's called, It's My Turn Smudge by Miriam Moss and Lynn Chapman. Smudge and Goose were looking for water snails. Splash, something jumped into the river. What was that? Asked Smudge. Goose stuck her head under the water to look. A frog, she said, popping up again. There it goes. Smudge peered at the water. Smudge can't see in the water. Goose can put his head right under the water, but Smudge can't see. Stripe, said Smudge at lunchtime. Goose can see all the river animals that live under the water. It's not fair. I wish I could. Well, let's make a net, said Stripe. Then you can catch the animals, put them in a jar, and look at them. Together, Smudge and Stripe made a lovely net. Wait till my friends see this, said Smudge. And here's a jar to collect the animals in, smiled Stripe. Just make sure you put them back where you found them afterwards. Smudge dipped her net into the river. Out came a small brown leaf with a water snail stuck to it. She plopped both into a jar. Hare arrived. That's the rabbit. He's a hare. Hare arrived. What's in there? He asked. A water snail, said Smudge. I caught it with my new net. Hare looked at the net. Hey, may I have a go? Mm, you can after I've caught a little silverfish said Smudge, dipping her net into the water. So Hare would like to share and have a turn with the nets, but is Smudge sharing right away? Not really. Hmm, it's making him wait. Kind of not real nice. Hare waited for his turn, watching the snail slide slowly about the jar when Mole arrived. Hello, Hare. Hello, Smudge, said Mole. What you doing? She's dipping, said Hare, with her new net. Mole looked at the net. May I have a go? He asked. After I've caught a little silverfish, said Smudge. Actually, it's my turn next, Mole, said Hare. Oh, said Mole, and he sat down to wait too. Hmm. Smudge is really making her friends wait a long time. That's kind of rude. Smudge dipped and dipped. Hare and Mole waited and waited. Come on, Smudge, said Hare after a while. It's our turn now. I haven't caught a little silverfish yet, said Smudge stubbornly. Anyway, it's my net. Okay, stop for just a second. Guys, would you ever talk to your friends like that? Is that a nice way to talk to your friends? No, come on. Hare and Mole listen patiently. Hare and Mole watched Smudge for a bit longer, but then they got tired of waiting and they wandered off. Smudge didn't notice them go. She was enjoying herself. She caught lots of pond skaters, diving beetles, and shrimps, but there was still no little silverfish. Suddenly, Smudge heard laughter coming from upstream. Oh, looks like her friends are playing without her. Try again, Goose, laughed Hare. Goose dipped upside down. Oh, look! cried Mole, nearly toppling into the river with excitement. She's got one! Goose bobbed up with a little silver fish in her beak. Put it in here, Goose, shouted Hare, holding out a jar. Smudge watched the three friends crowd round the jar. Suddenly she felt terribly left out. I wish I'd let the others have a go with my net, she thought miserably. Then we'd all be fishing here together. Smudge gave up dipping. She sat staring at the animals in her jar, listening to the others, having fun upstream. Then suddenly she had an idea. Smudge walked up river to her friends. Would you like to put my river animals with yours? She asked. Oh, ooh, thanks, said Mole. Great, said Hare. Goose, did you hear that? Everybody laughed as Goose popped up with a fish on her head. Just then, Stripe arrived with ice creams for everyone. What a wonderful end of the book. 
Would you all like to have a go with my new net? Smudge asked. Sure, said Hare, finishing his ice cream. Smudge handed him the net. You go first, Hare, she said. Aren't you glad she shared in the end? Just think if she wouldn't have shared, she wouldn't have been playing with her friends the rest of the day. They walked off and played without her because she wasn't sharing. That could happen if you don't share with your friends. And if you make a mistake like that and you're not sharing, you need to go over. She probably should have apologized to them, but she did try to make it up by being really friendly and offering her net to them. So I think she made the right choice. 